A few weeks ago, we stealthily released our latest and greatest virtual bass sampler. Mayo Bass is a bass sampler very comparable to Kraken Hybrid Bass and Loki Bass 2 when it comes to the engine and the overall workings. However, it is a completely new sampled bass. We used a Mayones Patriot Bass, which of course brings a completely different tonal character. On top of this new tonal character, I also wanted to go for a bit of a newer look when it comes to the user interface. As you can see, not only did we go for a very sleek overall look, we also added a bottom piano which kind of shows you what's being played while you play it. If a certain key switch is activated it will also show you which type of articulation is currently being used. Another feature I'm very excited about is the auto slide function. When you turn this on, nodes that overlap will automatically slide from one to the other. Now of course this isn't something you want to be using at every single point in your song and I did want you to have the control to not have that happen happen, hence why it can be turned off, but it's still a really nifty tool when you're riding. However, the feature I'm most excited about in Mayo Bass is the Tame Heist slider. Whenever you're programming bass, especially when it's distorted in metal, you'll notice that all these drive pedals tend to push the high mids of the bass extra hard whenever higher strings are being played. This makes it so very often when you're programming or even playing bass, your low end might be sounding amazing, but whenever you're playing a higher string, it might just poke out a little bit in your mix. Now, the way you would usually fix this is automation or multi-band compression or something along those lines. But I wanted to make that easier. So instead, we created this Tame Highs slider that does this for you automatically. So whenever you hear higher notes poking out of your mix a little bit on your bass, you simply turn up the slider and those highs will be tamed specifically on those notes. This is also something a multiband compressor can't really do because the multiband compressor can't smell if a higher string is being played. So it will sometimes hear a harmonic of a lower note and think, hey, I gotta suppress that, even though you maybe didn't want that harmonic being suppressed. However, our engine of course knows that a higher string is being played and so it will only start activating at specific intervals. Of course, there is far more to love about Mayo Bass so if you want to figure out more, go to solemntones.com and check out Mayo Base today.